The proscenium online theatre company is proud to present Simon Paisley Day in their reimagined production of A Christmas Carol. <laughs> Thank you. Good doing business with you. Speak to you on the 27th. Great. I see you 27th. Keep working. Keep working hard. Sing that violin. Sorry? Merry Christmas. Ah, uh, yes. Merry. Airport. Quickly. Still human here in Hong Kong. Moment, I am. Oh, you sick as hell. I thought I'd bring you the classic sounds of a New York Excuse me. I um, go I say, he hello, uh -huh. turn that off. Turn down the radio, the cheese you got. Hello, sir. Bob. What time is it? What's going on? You asleep? Oh, sorry, sir, I, I just dozed off for a moment. I spent the night with Timmy at the hospital. He's having such trouble breathing. I don't want to hear it. I need you focused, Bob. Sure, yes, sorry. How was the flight? Hell, tin can hurtling through space, inhuman. Gone through it with the help of a dozen Xanax. Oh, good. I was worried about you. So, you must be in Shanghai. I'm currently in transit through Hong Kong. I'm on the midnight flight, so I'll be at my desk by nine. Did the negotiations go well? Oh, 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 Bob. I have them over a barrel. But they're slippery. We need to push this merger through before the new year. Well, that's... that's great. Congratulations. Call the major shareholders and bring in legal. I need a contract to sign off on by tomorrow evening. But, sir... It's, well, it's Christmas Eve. Nobody else is here. Well, then you better get them back in. The Chinese don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> Call Sam at Gen X to set up a meeting on the 27th. I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. Tomorrow? Sir, tomorrow's Christmas Day. I promised John and the kids. What? You, you promised them what, exactly? That you'd have the whole day off? Well, uh, if it's convenient. It's not convenient. Christmas Day? A poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. You can take a long lunch, but make sure you're in by seven. Or do you not like your job? No, I, I do, sir. I need my job. But it is Christmas Day. Listen, Marley died seven years ago this very night. And that Christmas morning, after his jet went down, I made a promise to myself that Scrooge and Marley would one day be a billion-dollar corporation. This is that chance. If you, or anyone else, jeopardizes that because of some selfish notion of Christmas and family, there will be consequences. Yes. I understand. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Just get to work. Umgoi, uh, Chekoi, Chekoi, hey, hey, can you move any faster? I'll miss my flight. <sighs> what is it, Fred? Merry Christmas, Uncle. Humbug. Come on, Uncle Ebenezer, you don't mean that. It's Ben, not Ebenezer, and I do mean it. What reason do you have to be merry? You're poor. Well, what reason do you have to be miserable? You're rich. I know that you're speaking, but I'm just hearing blah, oh, blah, blah. Oh, don't be so grumpy, Uncle. It's Christmas. Christmas? You mean the cynical commercialization of a specific variant of monotheism? It's humbug. Christmas is not humbug, oh, Uncle Oh, come ben. on. What's Christmas for you but a time for paying bills without money? Finding yourself a year older and not an hour richer? If I had my way, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be buried with a stake of holly through his heart. Uncle! No! Let me keep Christmas in my own way. Keep it? But you don't keep it. Let me leave it alone, then. What good has it ever done you? Goodness doesn't always mean profitability, Uncle. Whatever you think. Christmas, to me, is a good time. A kind forgiving, charitable, pleasant time. The only time of the year when people open their hearts to each other and see the people all around them as, I don't know, fellow passengers to the grave and not a separate race of creatures. And so, yeah, sure, it's never put a penny in my pocket and I usually wake up on January the 1st broke and hungover. But I truly believe Christmas has done me good. And I say God bless it. I'm too busy for this. What do you want? Listen, Uncle, Bob tells me you're heading back to London tomorrow. 
Why don't you come for Christmas lunch? Never going to happen. But why? Why? Oh, why? Why? Why did you get married? Because I fell in love. <laughs> because you fell in love. The only thing in the world more ridiculous than a Merry Christmas. Goodbye. But you've never come to visit me before. I'm at work tomorrow. On Christmas Day? Yes, I have an important meeting on the 27th. Please, Uncle. I just want to see you. Find some time for lunch. Mother would have wanted us to see each other. No. Well, the offer is there if you change your mind. So, Merry Christmas, Uncle. Goodbye. And a Happy New Year! Humbug! Really? Sam wants to push it back to the 28th. Well, yes, she said, as it's Christmas Eve. Nonsense. Call her back. We meet on the 27th or her percentage goes down. Wait a minute. Uh, excuse me. Uh, hello. Yes. Y you. Yes. Hello. C can you stop that? I'm trying to have a conversation here. Help the homeless? What? Help the homeless. Not now. If not now, then when? What? Help the homeless. Are there no prisons? Are there no shelters? There are, mister. And the food banks, have they shut down? No, mister. Good. I pay my taxes, I help to support the establishments I have mentioned. Those who are badly off must go there. Many can't go uh, there. Many would rather die. If they would rather die, they had better do it and decrease the surplus population. Goodbye. Bob. Bob, you still there? Sir? Did you get that about Sam? Yes, sir. Uh, sir? What is it? I was just wondering, you know, in the meeting, did they... Well, d did they mention anything about cutbacks? There will be redundancies. How many? Not the time for this, Bob. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah see, see you in the morning, Mr Scrooge. Have a good flight and a merry... No! Welcome on board this flight CX251 Hong Kong to London Heathrow. Our attendants are here if you need anything. Weather looking fine. We'll be cruising at an altitude of around 34,000 feet. And with the strong following tailwind, we should reach London by mid-morning. So relax, get some rest, and when you wake up, it'll be Christmas Day. Oh, here we go. <laughs> How are you doing, neighbor? I'm Jerry. Jerry Roth. Right. Nice to meet you. Where are you going for Christmas? London. Obviously. I'm on a connecting flight to Mali. What did you say? Mali. You know, Mali. Chewing gum? Uh, no, thanks. <sighs> Nervous flyer? Infrequent. Lucky you've been entrusted with the emergency exit then. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't realize. Uh, uh, I. I, I, I don't think I, I should be here, uh, sitting uh, here. Uh, no, 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 don't, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. Planes very rarely go down. Safer than driving. My, my partner died in a plane ah. crash. I'm so sorry. How long ago did she die? If you don't mind, I'd like some peace. Of course. Of course. Absolutely. Good evening, Mr. Scrooge. May I get you something to drink? Bourbon. Here we go. Have a pleasant flight. Ice. I'm sorry? I need ice. I'm not an animal. Oh, of course, sir. Apologies. Anything for you, sir? No, no. Thank you, though. Can you put your seat upright for the takeoff, please, sir? Humbug. I'm sorry? Nothing. I'm not an animal. <laughs> That's a good one. You're a funny guy. Remind me of my brother-in-law. God rest his soul. He died in the air. Come to think of it? <sighs> Helicopter, oh, okay. yeah, Excuse me, can I get past? There's your goal, eh? <laughs> just, just breathe, Ebenezer. Just breathe. You're more likely to die crossing the road. It's fine. Calm down, for God's sake, man. Count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight. Uh, uh, uh.
Hello? Anyone there? Oh, God, get hold of yourself, man. You idiot. Look at yourself. Look into your eyes. You're in the toilet. You've just made the deal of your life. You're not going to die. Everything's going to be Oh, Jesus, I'm losing my mind. I think I need another Xanax. Everybody, please, can you return to your feet? Yes, 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 yes. Get in, Buffy! Do you think we're going down? <laughs> Humbug. Ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing extreme turbulence. It appears we have fallen into an electrical storm. Uh, I don't mean to alarm you, but one of the engines has failed. Please remain calm and adopt the base oh, position. Oh. Capital, oh. prepare for an emergency landing! Oh. It seems oh. we may be going to have to What? I, I, I don't understand. Oh, how now? What do you want with me? Much. Who are you? Ask me who I was. Who were you then? You're particular for a ghost. In life, I was your partner, Jacob Marley. You don't believe in me. I don't. What evidence would you have of my reality beyond that of your own senses? I don't know. Why do you doubt your senses? Because a little thing affects them. A slight disorder of the stomach makes them cheats. You may be some passing turbulence, an undigested bit of beef, uh, a fragment of an underdone potato. There's more of gravy than of grave about you, whatever you are. <laughs> Humbug, I tell you. Ah! Mercy, dreadful apparition, why do you trouble me? Do you believe in me or not? I do, I must. But why do spirits walk the earth, and why do they come to me? It is required of every man that the spirit within him should walk abroad among his fellow men. And if that spirit goes not forth in life, it is condemned to do so after death and witness what it cannot share but might have shared on earth and turned to happiness. <laughs> you are fettered. Tell me why. I wear the chain I forged in life. I girded it on of my own free will. And of my own free will, I wore it. Do you know the weight and length of the strong coil you bear yourself? It was as heavy and as long as this seven Christmas Eves ago. You have labored on it since. It is a ponderous chain. Jacob. Old Jacob Marley. Tell me more. Speak Comfort to me. I have none to give, Ebenezer Scrooge. Nor can I tell you what I would. I cannot rest. I cannot stay. I cannot linger anywhere. In life, my spirit never roved beyond the narrow limits of our money-changing hall. So now, weary journeys lie before me. Seven years dead and traveling all the time? The whole time. No rest, no peace, incessant torture of remorse. <laughs> Not to know that, that no space of regret can make amends for life's opportunities misused. Yet such was I, oh, such was I. But you were always a good man of business, Jacob. Business? Mankind should have been my business. The common welfare should have been my business. Charity, mercy, forbearance, benevolence. The dealings of my trade were but a drop of water in the comprehensive ocean of my business. Don't be flowers. Hear me! My time is short. I will, but 
Don't be hard upon me, pray. I am here tonight to warn you that you have yet a chance and hope of escaping my fate. A chance and hope of my procuring, Ebenezer. You were always a good friend to me, thank you. You will be haunted by three spirits. Is that the chance and hope you mentioned, Jacob? It is. I... I think I'd rather not. Without these visits, you will not shun the path I tread. Expect the first tomorrow, when the bell tolls one. Couldn't I take them all at once and have it over, Jacob? Expect the second on the next night at the same hour. The third upon the next night, when the last stroke of twelve has ceased to vibrate. Look to see me no more, and look that for your own sake you What's remember happening? what has passed Jacob? between us, Ebenezer Jacob. Scrooge! What? What? No, it isn't possible. spirit whose coming was foretold to me? I am. Who and what are you? I am the ghost of Christmas past. Long past? No, your past. Perhaps you could cover your luminance. It hurts my eyes. What? Would you so soon put out the light I give? I, I, I do not wish to offend. What business brought you here? Your reclamation. Walk with me. What? Over the edge of this cliff? <laughs> no, thank you. I am a mortal and liable to fall. There, but a touch of my hand, and you shall be upheld in more than this. Come. Trust me. Very well. <laughs> was a boy here. This was my school. Your lip is trembling. And what is that upon your cheek? Uh, only a pimple. Never mind. You recollect the way? <laughs> recollect it? I could walk it blindfold. Strange. To have forgotten it for so many years. Let us go on. John? Michael? J J John? M Michael! These are but shadows of things that have been. They have no consciousness of us. Wait! Here! The door to my classroom. Deserted, of course. For Christmas. Not quite deserted. A solitary child, neglected by his friends, forgotten by his family, is left there still. Yes. Yes, I, I know. Alibaba! Oh. You came! Of course I came, young Ebenezer. It's Christmas, after all. I knew you would. Shall we have an adventure? I am at your service, young master. Oh. Where's the parrot? Right it's, here. It's oh. Alibaba. Oh. Yes, yes, I remember, oh. Spirit. Where's the pirate One ignored? Christmas time, when right I was left there, here all alone, I met him. He, he did come sharks. just like that. And there's the parrot. Green body and yellow tail with a, with a, a thing like a, a lettuce growing out of the top of his head. There he is. Oh, look. Oh, there goes Friday, Friday running, running, for his running for his life to the little creek. To the little creek. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh. oh, poor boy. I, I wish, I, I wish, oh, but it's, uh, it's, it's too late now. What is the matter? 
<laughs> oh, nothing, nothing. There, there was a, there was a boy uh, s s singing a Christmas carol last night. I, I should like to have given him something. That's all. But you pay your taxes. Oh. Fan. Fan. Ebenezer. Dear, dear brother, I have come to bring you home, dear brother. Home, little fan? Yes, home for good, home for ever and ever. Father has changed and is so much kinder than he used to be. He spoke so gently to me one dear night when I was going to bed that I was not afraid to ask him once more if you might come home. And he said, yes, you should, and sent me in a coach to bring you. And you are to be a man and never to come back here. But first, we are to be together all Christmas long and have the merriest time in all the world. Always a delicate creature, whom a breath might have withered. But she had a large heart. So she had. You're right, I will not deny it, spirit. God forbid. She died a woman and had, as I think, children. One child. True. Your nephew, Fred. Y yes, Fred. Let us see another Christmas. <gasps> Do you know this place? Oh, oh they look know lovely. it? I apprenticed here. Yo ho there, boys! Why, it's old Fezziwig. Bless his heart, it's Fezziwig. Alive again. I say yo ho there. Ebenezer! Dick! Dick oh, yes, sir, Mr. Fezziwig, sure. right here! Bless me, yes, there he is. He, he was very much attached to me, was Dick. Yo ho, my boys! No more work tonight. Christmas Eve, Dick! Christmas, Ebenezer! Let's have the shutters up before a man can say Jack Robinson. <laughs> Ilio, Ilio, clear the room, my lads. Let's have lots and lots of room. Ilio, Dick. Oh, cheer up, Ebenezer. Clear away. We shall have a dance. Where's my wife? <laughs> Where's my wife? She's here. <laughs> Dick, hop on the fiddle. <laughs> come, come. Dance with me, my dear. Oh, she's still got the moves. <laughs> so is he. <laughs> come on, Dick, put your wrist into it. A small matter to make these silly folks so full of gratitude. Small? Is it not? He has spent but a few pounds of your mortal money. It isn't that. It, it isn't that spirit. He, he has the power to render us happy or unhappy. His power lies in words and looks, in things so slight and insignificant that it is impossible to add and count them up. The happiness he gives is as great as if it cost a fortune. My time grows short. Quick, outside the warehouse. Come. Belle? My dearest Belle. And you, in the prime of life. I was a fool even then. It matters little to you. Another idol has displaced me, and if it can cheer and comfort you in time to come, as I would have tried to do, I have no just cause to grieve. What idol has displaced you? A golden one. Oh, this is the even-handed dealing of the world. There is nothing on which it is so hard as poverty, and there is nothing it professes to condemn with such severity as the pursuit of wealth. You fear the world too much. I have seen your noble aspirations fall off one by one until the master passion gain engrosses you. Have I not? What then? Even if I have grown so much wiser, what then? I am not changed towards you, am I? Our contract is old. It was made when we were both poor and content to be so. You are changed. And when it was made, you were another man. I was a boy. You are no longer what you were. I am. I release you. Have I ever sought release? In words? No, never. In what, then? In a changed nature. In an altered spirit. In everything that made my love of any worth or value in your sight. Tell me, would you seek me out and try to win me now? <laughs> no. You think not? 
I would gladly think otherwise if I could, but if you were free today, would you honestly choose a penniless girl? You, who, in your very confidence with her, weigh everything by gain. And if you did choose her, if for a moment you were false enough to your one guiding principle to do so, I know that your repentance and regret would follow. I do. And I release you with a full heart for the love of him you once were. May you be happy in the life you have chosen. Spirit, show me no more. Conduct me home. God rest ye merry gentlemen. Let nothing you despise. Why do you delight to torture me? Show me no more. was born on Christmas Day To save us all from Satan's power When we've gone astray Christmas <laughs> Pretty good mortar you got there, neighbor. What? What? You're snoring. Pretty impressive. What? Where are we? I, I, I thought I thought the plane went down. Oh, it did. It did? Did it? What? What? Wait. What time is it? One o'clock. Again? Again? But but how? But how? Yeah. Jacob mentioned you'd be a little, uh, you know. All right. <sighs> I just need to get the lights out there. Oh, oh wow. That's incredible. I, I, you, you, you are, uh, I mean, you, you must be. I am the ghost of Christmas present. Look upon me. That's right. Breathe it in. Oh, yeah. You have never seen the like of me before! Never. No! Didn't look at me once the whole flight. It's been so long since you've taken delight in company, in life and laughter, that you've forgotten how. Spirit, conduct me where you will. If you have anything to teach me, let me profit by it. Take my hand. Have you ever jumped out of a plane? Of course not. No time like the present. Get it? No? Tough crowd. Where are we? The, the, the roots of London, old boy. Uh, whose home is this? Follow me. <coughs> what has ever got your precious mother then? And your brother, Tiny Tim, and Martha wasn't as late last Christmas by half an hour. There's Martha, father. Hi, I'm home. Why, bless your heart alive, my dear, how late you are. We had a deal of work to finish up last night and had to clear away this morning, Father. Well, never mind, so long as you are come. Sit down before the fire, my dear, and have a warm, Lord bless you. No, no, there's Mother coming. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hide, Mother, hide. Come on, Tim. Merry Christmas, oh, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> God, it's freezing oh. out there. Oh, it's lovely. Now, where's our Martha? Not coming. <laughs> Not coming. Not coming upon Christmas Day. Merry Christmas! Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling. Every Scared year. Scared to death. <laughs> and how did little Tim behave? As good as gold and better. Somehow, he gets thoughtful sitting by himself so much and thinks the strangest things you ever heard. He told me, coming home, that he hoped the people saw him in the church and it might be pleasant to them to remember upon Christmas Day who made lame beggars walk and blind men see. Our tiny Tim is growing strong and healthy. Come, let us eat the gooses ready. Ta-da! Oh, 
Well, I <laughs> never. There never was such a goose. I don't believe there ever was such a goose cooked. Oh, go on with you. I'll say grace. Bless us, O oh Lord, this food to our use and us to thy service. And keep us ever mindful of the needs of others. Amen. 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 A Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. God bless us. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> oh, <darling. laughs> and now we feast. Yay, I'm hungry. That's as your plate, that's as your plate. Spirit. <laughs> Tell me if Tim, uh, if, if Tiny Tim will live. I see a vacant seat in the poor chimney corner and a crutch without an owner, carefully preserved. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, the child will die. No, no, oh, 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 no, kind spirit. Say he will be spared. If these shadows remain unaltered by the future, none other of my race will find him here. What then? If he be like to die, he had Better do it and decrease the surplus population. Man, will you decide what men shall live, what men shall die? It may be that in the sight of heaven, you are more worthless and less fit to live than millions like this poor man's child. Oh God, to hear the insect on the leaf pronouncing on the too much life among his hungry brothers in the dust. I give you Mr. Scrooge, huh. the founder of the feast. Founder of the feast, indeed. I wish I had him here. I'd give him a piece of my mind to feast upon, and I hope he'd have a good appetite for it. My dear, the children, Christmas Day. It should be Christmas Day, I'm sure. And which one drinks the health of such an odious, stingy, hard, unfeeling man as Mr. Scrooge? You know he is, Roberta. Nobody knows it better than you do, poor lass. My dear, Christmas Day. I'll drink his health for your sake and the days, not for his. Long life to him, Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. And be very merry and very happy, I have no doubt. Mr. Scrooge. Mr. Mr. Scrooge. Scrooge! And now, I believe Tim has a Christmas surprise for us. Oh, OK, Tim. Oh, Tim. Here we go. Oh, yes. It's very exciting. Go on, good lad. Come, Ebenezer. Could we stay a short while more? Come, there is more. Fred. And Margaret. <laughs> no, no, listen. He said that Christmas was a humbug as oh, I live. Nonsense. He believed it too. Well, more shame for him, Fred. <laughs> he sounds an absolute riot. <laughs> uh, he's a comical old fellow. That's the truth, yes. Topper. And not so pleasant as he might be. However, his offences carry their own punishment, and I have nothing to say against I'm him. I'm sure he's very rich. At least you always tell me so. What of that, my dear? His wealth is of no use to him. He doesn't do any good with it. He don't make himself comfortable with it. Well, I have no patience with him. Well, I, I, I sort of agree with you, oh. Margaret. <laughs> I have. I am sorry for him. Who suffers by his ill whims? Himself, always. Here, he takes it into his head to dislike us, and he won't come and dine with us. What's the consequence? Well, he don't lose much of a dinner. Oh, indeed, I think he loses a very good dinner, actually, Margaret. Thank you, Topper. <laughs> Honestly, Fred. Here, here. <laughs> look, 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 the consequence of his taking a dislike to us and not making merry with us is, I think, that he loses some... Pleasant moments, sure. which could do him no harm. I am sure he loses pleasanter companions than he can find in his own thoughts, either in his mouldy old office or his dusty chambers. He may rail at Christmas till he dies, but he'll find me going there year after year and saying, Uncle Scrooge, how are you? <laughs> if it only put him in the vein to leave his poor clerk 50 pounds, that's something. 
and I shook him yesterday. Mm. Well, I'm proud of you, darling. <laughs> you shake him too hard and he'll break, old boy, yes? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he does. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just because he's skin and bones. You know. Now, look. No, now, now, come on. Time for some merriment, yes or no? Oh, oh. yes! Yes, 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 yes! Not this again! <laughs> I, I'll start. Um, yes, 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 I have one. Yeah. Great. Is it an animal? Yes. Darling, oh. come along. OK, uh, go on then. Um, is it a live animal? Yes. OK. Ah, um, a pleasant animal? Not really. Ooh, a, a wild animal? Yes. It's a horse, isn't it? I know you love horses. <laughs> No, it's not. Wild animal. Um... Oh, does it does it does it growl and grunt? Oh, uh, oh uh, yes. I know. Uh, it's it's a tiger. Would you find it in London? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's it's a tiger. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Um, is it is it an ass? A tiger no. for heaven's sake. Is it a tiger? <sighs> no, a tiger. London, oh, Margaret, sorry. darling. <laughs> Um, a pig, a dog, um, a cat, no, a bear. Oh, no, bear. No, I know, no. I know. Okay, it's disagreeable. Yes. It grunts and it growls. Yes. It lives in London. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it has to be Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, it is. It is. Oh, <laughs> oh fantastic. <laughs> Dear <laughs> old <laughs> Uncle Scrooge. <laughs> Oh, he has given us plenty of merriment, I'm sure. <laughs> and it would be ungrateful not to drink to his health. So, Uncle Scrooge. Oh, yes, well, yes. come along. Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Scrooge. Scrooge. Merry Christmas yeah. and a happy new year to the old man, whatever he is. He wouldn't take it from mm. me, but may he have it nevertheless. Uncle Scrooge. Yeah. Uncle Scrooge. Oh, no, 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 spirit, please, not yet. We must return. Are spirits' lives so short? My life upon this globe is very brief. It ends tonight. Tonight? Tonight! At midnight! Hark! The time is drawing near. There is one more thing before I go. Look here! Look, look, down here! <gasps> Boy, where are they going? Spirit, are they yours? They are man's, and they cling to me, appealing from their fathers. This boy is ignorance, this girl is want. Beware of them both, but most of all beware this boy, for on his brow I see that written which is doom, unless the writing be erased. Have they no refuge or resource? Are there no prisons? Are there no, no shelters? I am in the presence of the ghost of Christmas yet to come. You are about to show me shadows of the things that have not happened, but will happen in the time before us. Is that so, spirit? Ghost of the future, I fear you more than any spectre I have seen. But as I know your purpose is to do me good, and as I hope to live to be another man from what I was, I am prepared to bear your company, and do it with a thankful heart. Will you not speak to me? No? Well then, lead on. Lead on. The night is waning fast, and it is precious time to me, I know. Lead on, spirit. I don't know much about it either way. I only know he's dead. Oh, gosh. But when did he die? Last night, I believe. Plane crash? God, no. Oh, last night? Well, I, I thought he'd never die, actually. <laughs> oh, what's he done with his money? I haven't heard. Hmm. Left it to his company, Neither perhaps. Is, no doubt. He hasn't left it to me, that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Nor me, I think. I mean, uh, it's, it's likely to be a very cheap funeral. I don't know anyone who'll go to it. No, no. Well, I'll go if a lunch is provided. <laughs> well, I'll offer to go if anyone else will. Yes. I'm not at all sure that I wasn't his most particular friend. Yeah, really? <laughs> For we used to stop and speak whenever we <laughs> met. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. 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 Uh... 
Let us move on. Why have we stopped here? Psst. Come into the parlor. Come in. Every person has a right to take care of themselves. He always did. That's true indeed. No man more so. Why then? Don't stand staring as if you was afraid, woman. Who's the wiser? We're not going to pick holes in each other's coats, I suppose. Well, no, indeed. I should hope not, anyway. Who's the worse for the loss of a few things like these? Not a dead man, I suppose. No, indeed. Now, if he wanted to keep him after he was dead, a wicked old screw, why wasn't he natural in his lifetime, eh? If he had been, he'd have had somebody to look after him when he was struck with death, instead of lying gasping out his last there alone all by himself. It's the truest word that ever was spoke. It's a judgment on him. Now come on. Open that bundle, old Joe. And let me know the value of it. Now speak out plain. It's no sin. Come on, open that bundle now, Joe. Uh, let's see what we have here. Sheets and towels. Two old-fashioned silver teaspoons. And a pair of sugar tongs. And a pair of boots. I always give too much to ladies. It's a weakness of mine, and that's the way I'll ruin myself. What do you call this? Bed curtains? Aye, bed curtains. You don't mean to say you took them down, rings and all, with him lying there? Yes, I do. And why not? You were born to make your fortune, and you'll certainly do it. Don't! Drop that oil upon the blanket, Joe. His blankets? Well, who else's did you think? He isn't likely to take cold without him, I dare say. I hope he didn't die of anything catchy. Hey. Oh, don't you be afraid of that. I ain't so fond of his company that I'd loiter about him for such things. Ah. You may look through that shirt to your eyes ache, but you won't find a hole in it now, let me tell you. Nor a threadbare place. It is the best he had, and a fine one too. They would have wasted of it if it wasn't for me. What do you call wasting of it? Well, putting it on him to be buried, to be sure. Somebody was fool enough to do it, but then I took it off again. <laughs> if Calico ain't good enough for such a purpose, it isn't good enough for anything. He can't look uglier than he did in that one, anyway. He frightened everyone away from him when he was alive. To profit us when he was dead. <laughs> Spirit, I see. I see. The story of this unhappy man might be my own. I, uh, my life tends that way now. I, I, I see it, spirit. This is a fearful place. In leaving it, I shall not leave its lesson. Trust me. Let us go. If, if there is any person in the town who feels emotion caused by this man's death, show that person to me, spirit, I beseech you. Your mother will be home soon. Must be near her time. Past it, rather. But I think she has walked a little slower than she used these few last evenings, Father. I have known her walk with Tiny Tim upon her shoulder very fast indeed. And so have I. Often. But he was very light to carry in. His mother loved him, so... But it was no trouble. No trouble. Ah, oh, there's your mother at the door. Christmas. Come in, come in, come in. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'll put the kettle on. Oh, Thank tea you. would be lovely, yes. My dear, I must tell of the extraordinary kindness of Mr. Scrooge's nephew. The pleasantest spoken gentleman you ever heard. Don't you know him? I scarcely seen him but once. And he asked why I looked so distressed, and I told him of our loss. He said, I'm heartily sorry for it, Mrs. Cratchit. And heartily sorry for your good husband. <laughs> by the by, how he ever knew that, I don't know. Uh, knew what, my dear? Why, th that you were a good husband. Everybody knows that. Well, very well observed, my boy. I hope they do. Heartily sorry, he said. And if I can be of service to you in any way, then he gave me his card. That's where I live. Pray, come to me. 
No, it wasn't for the sake of anything he might be able to do for us. So much as for his kind way. <laughs> it really seemed as if he had known our tiny Tim and felt with us. I'm sure he's a good soul. You would be sure of it if you saw and spoke to him. Mark what I say, if he got Peter a better situation. Only hear that, Peter. And then Peter will be keeping company with someone and setting up for himself. Get along with you. <laughs> well, it's just as likely as not one of these days. Though there's plenty of time for that, my dear. But however and whenever we part from one another, I'm sure we shall none of us forget poor tiny Tim. Shall we? Or this first parting that there was amongst us. Never, mother. And I know, I know, my dears, that when we recollect how patient and how mild he was, although he was a little, little child, we shall not quarrel easily amongst ourselves and forget poor tiny Tim in doing it. My little, little child. My little child. <laughs> we shall all miss tiny Tim. <laughs> Spectre. Something informs me that our parting moment is at hand. I know it, but I know not how. Tell me what man that was, whom we saw lying dead. Before I draw nearer to that body to which you point, answer me one question. Are these the shadows of the things that will be? Or are they shadows of the things that may be only? Am I that man who lay upon the ground? No, spirit, oh no, spirit, hear me. I am not the man I was. Why show me this if I am past all hope? A good spirit, assure me that I yet may change these shadows you have shown me by an altered life. I will honour Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. I will live in the past, the present and the future. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. I will not shut out the lessons that they teach. Oh, spirit, please! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to London Heathrow. Time is 6.15 a.m., local weather cold, with snow expected later in the day. What? Face. Plane. Seat. Hands. Oh, I'm... I'm alive? I'm alive! I, I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! Everybody I'm alive! Scared. We didn't crash? Oh! <laughs> not as far as I'm aware. And, and, and you're... You're not a ghost? No, sir. Body, heart, soul, all present. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Thought I'd get into the spirit of it. <laughs> Look, I, I, I promise, uh, I, I'm going to live in the past, the present, and the future. Yes, that's good, my boy. The spirits of all three shall strive within me. Oh, Jacob Marley, heaven be praised for this. I say it on my knees, old Jacob, on my knees. Can you please remain seated, sir? Oh, uh, of course. <clears throat> of, of course. Sorry. I don't know what to do. I am as light as a feather. I am as uh, happy as an angel. I am as, as, as merry as a schoolboy. I'm as giddy as a drunken man. A, a Merry Christmas to everybody. A Happy New Year to all the world. Hello here. Uh, 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 whoop. Uh, hello. <laughs> merry Christmas. <laughs> you certainly had a good sleep. Oh, I did. I did. Wait. What, what day is it? Why, it's Christmas Day, of course. <gasps> I haven't missed it, Bob. Uh, 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 Bob? Oh, sir, yeah, oh, no, I'm on my way. I should be there on time. Turn around, Bob. Go home to your wonderful family. What? I'm keeping the business. The deal's off. <laughs> really? 
But why? Because you deserve better, Bob. You all deserve better. Wow. Uh, that must have been quite some flight. <laughs> oh, it was. It was. It... Oh, uh, wait. Uh, Tim. How's little Timmy? Uh, you mean my Timmy? Yes. Your Timmy. Well, well, he's okay. Oh. Yeah, well, he's got a new inhaler. Uh, and he's on a waiting list to see a paediatrician sometime in the new year, but... Wait, I, I thought you didn't like talking about horn life. Not anymore. Find the best doctors. Find them now. Put it on the company account. <laughs> what? Really? I've been a poor boss and an even worse friend. I'll try to make amends, starting from now. And, uh... I'm... Sorry. Uh, well, thank you. I'll let John and the children know. They'll be so happy. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you for everything. Here you are, then, sir. That'll be 48.50, please. Thank you. And keep the change. Fred, bless my soul. Is it really you? It is, Fred. It is. Your uncle Ebenezer. I have come for dinner. Will you let me in, Fred? Of course, Uncle. It will make our day. Hey, kids! Fan, Amos! Uncle Ben has come for Christmas. Darling, will you set another plate? You'll never believe... Come in. Uh, come in. You... you called your daughter Fan? I did. You wait till you see her. She's the spit of Mum. Thank you, Fred. Oh, and, uh, well, uh, Merry Christmas to you. I never thought I'd hear you say that, old man. God bless you. God bless us, everyone. A Christmas Carol was brought to you by the Proscenium Online Theatre Company in association with Punch Presentations. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts.